Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check the Foxeer F722 V3 flight controller. In this quick video, I'm going to go over its features and specs, point out the differences between the previous version and the new one, and after installing the new flight controller along with the Foxeer Reaper F4 ESC on a new build, head outdoors and test it out. First of all, in terms of features and specs, the Foxeer F722 V3 flight controller features an F7 processor, a USB Type-C port, a BMI270 gyro chip. All the pads can be accessed from both top and bottom sides of the flight controller. It features six full UART ports, both 5V and 9V 3A BCs, in addition to this JST connector, which is used for connecting the flight controller to a 4-in-1 ESC, you can find matching soldering pads on the bottom side of the flight controller, so in case the connector breaks, you can simply use them. And you can also find this dedicated JST connector, which is used for connecting the flight controller to the DJI Air unit. As for its dimensions, the flight controller is using 30.5 by 30.5 mm M4 mounting holes, which are reduced to M3 using the provided silicon grommets. It weighs 8 grams, and its outer dimensions are 34.6 by 36.7 by 8 mm. In comparison to the previous version of this flight controller, now it is using a USB Type-C port, whereas on the previous version, a micro USB connector is in use. It features this JST connector, which is used for connecting the flight controller to the DJI unit or other types of VTXs, depending on your preference. And instead of using the MPU 6000 gyro chip, which is used by the previous flight controller, due to the massive chip shortage, it is now using a BMI 270 gyro chip. As for installing and using this flight controller on a new build, first of all, all the pads are labeled, which is quite convenient. The supported voltage of this flight controller is between 6.5 to 30 volts so you can power it directly with up to 6S batteries. Out of the box, the camera is going to be provided with 5V and the VTX is going to be provided with 9V, but in case you'd like to, you can change the voltage of the VTX and camera by desoldering the center pad with the right or left pad. So for example, in case you would like to supply the camera with 9V, you will need to desolder the center pad with the left one and bridge the center pad with the right one. Similarly, you can change the voltage of the VTX from 9V and 5V, and in case you are going to use a digital VTX using this JST connector, it is going to be provided with 9V. In addition, in case you would like to use this flight controller on an X8 setup, it's possible, but then you will need to remap some of the sources using the CLI command on Metaflight in order to use the four extra motors. Now, as you can see, both Foxeer F722 V3 flight controller and Reaper F4 ESC are assembled on this new build, featuring the Foxeer Ura 6 Pro dead cat frame. The Crossfire Nano SC receiver is connected to UART number 1, the GPS unit to UART number 5, and the air unit is connected using this JST connector to UART number 6 and powered using the 9V BAC. The next thing that I've done is to head outdoors and test out this new build, and overall, as far as I can tell, the Foxeer F722 V3 flight controller is very convenient to work with, and it can be a good option for both analog and digital builds. Now I'm going to wrap up this video with some flight footage, so I hope you will enjoy the rest of this video. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video, and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos, and goodbye.